Hey, how's it going? Coach D here from All Out Athletes, and thanks for joining us once again. As we're hoping that you can take one thing, if you can get one thing out of this podcast today and take it to your training, it will change the way you train and the way you compete for the rest of your life. And joining me today is a great uh, professor in sports psychology and author and speaker, Dr. Gilbert. What's going on, Doc? How you doing? We got a quote for you today. Muhammad Ali, maybe the greatest athlete ever, um, he said, I, because what Coach D is talking about, he goes over and over again, you got to be into your training, got to be into your training. Well, Ali wasn't into his training. He didn't like training. He has a quote that says, I hated every minute of training. This is Muhammad Ali. I hated every minute of training, but I said to myself, don't quit, suffer now, and I could spend the rest of my life as a champion. You let, let that sink in. I hated every minute of training, but I said to myself, don't quit, suffer now, and I could spend the rest of my life as a champion. There's a story, um, Ali used to train in Deer Park, which is in Pennsylvania, and every once in a while, they would let people come in and watch him train. So one day a fan is watching him, and Ali is doing sit-ups, and he's counting, he's doing hundreds and hundreds of sit-ups. And when he's done and he's taking a break, the, the fan came over and said, hey champ, how many sit-ups did, did you do? He said, I'm not quite sure. He said, what do you mean you're not quite sure? I heard you counting. He said, yeah, but I only, st I only start counting when they start hurting. I only start counting when they start hurting. So I hated every minute of training. And I said to myself, don't quit, suffer now. Now, we're not just talking about, we're talking about school too. I hated every minute of studying, but I said to myself, don't quit, suffer now, and I could spend the rest of my life as a doctor. I hated every minute of organic chemistry, and I said, don't quit, suffer now, and I could spend the rest of my life as a doctor. So we're talking about doing or acting differently than you feel. Yeah, what do you have to add to that, Coach D? So, so when we use the word suffer, it's going to make people jump back and go, oh, I don't want to suffer. So, so we're using Ali as an example. He was the greatest of all time, and he suffered through all his training. Now, does that mean in your sport, you have to feel like suffering every single second? No, but we want you to remember that when it gets tough, when it feels like you're suffering. We want you to remember that and push through. I mean, you might be training, and when it gets too hard, after 10 minutes, you put everything in, you take a break for two minutes. Okay, but remember that quote. There's going to be pain involved. There's going to be some form of pain when you're pushing your body beyond its limits. How can you stretch your limits if you never push beyond your limits? And that's what Ali was doing. He was mm. pushing beyond his limits. You stretch them, and then you created another level you can go. But if you never stretch it, you'll never get there. And what we're talking about with Ali in boxing, we're talking about severe, extreme physical effort. Some of the suffering you're going to deal with is mental suffering called boredom. I don't want to take 100 foul shots. You know, that's not going to be physical effort. That's not going to be physical suffering. It's going to be mental suffering. I don't want to study. Why not? I don't want to. It's too much. I can't study for three hours. It's like suffering. Well, you could fight through it, just like Jerry Rice fights through it. You could fight through this mental anguish you have to get through. Not every part of basketball is extreme physical effort. Not every part of baseball is extreme physical effort. Some of it is just the boredom of showing up and re repeatedly, repetitiously doing something over and over and over and over and over again. Yeah, so can you, can, you, can you fight through that? Can you suffer doing the same thing so the coach says, do it again, do it again, do it again, do it again. And you're like, come on, I'm bored. Fight through that. That's the time you got to fight through it. That's the mental suffering. That, oh, but if you can find a way where you know in your mind, like, it, it's funny how some athletes get surprised, like, oh, we got to do this again? Yes, <laughs> you got to do it, not till you get, once you get it, you do it till you get it right, as we talked about, then you got to do it until you don't get it wrong. But you got to suffer through it until you do it, until you don't get it wrong. Now, there's different mental suffering for everybody. For some people, if they're used to things coming easy for them, and then when they get to suffering, they might run away. So what we're saying is put yourself in a position to where maybe the skill's a little bit more difficult. Don't run away from that skill that you haven't gotten yet. Just push through it, fight through it, 
suffer through it because there's a champion waiting for you on the other side. You know, Coach D, I'm always amazed when I speak to bodybuilders. And the thing is, 90% of their competition, 90% of their training, I should say, is at the dinner table, not in the gym. 90% of looking that way has to do with diet and not exercise. And they have to go through this suffering of eating the same thing every day, day after day, week after week, month after month, year after year. And it's tough stuff, but they do it. Yeah, I've, I've talked to a few bodybuilders, and it's, you know, grilled chicken, tuna. I mean, some of the stuff's really good. You know, it's really good. But it's the same thing every day. I mean, there's some guys who just eat hard-boiled eggs and throw the yolk out every single morning. They have six to ten hard-boiled eggs, and it's the same thing. Oh, now, we're not – you don't have to – see, and that's the thing. A lot of athletes think they have to want to do everything because most of our lives are about, oh, well, I don't want to do that today. I'll go do this. I don't want to see that move. I'll pick and choose what I want to do. But when it comes to your training, there's going to be things you don't want to do in order to get things other athletes aren't going to get. And in order to get those things, they don't want to go through the suffering. They don't want to fight through it. But you can. You can. And you'll see how much stronger you are after you suffered, after you fight through that boredom of doing the same thing over and over again, then when you get that results, that's when you really ignite and go, it was worth it. I'm glad I stayed that extra 10 minutes. I'm glad when everybody left practice, I stayed for another 20 minutes and did cardio. I stayed for another 15 minutes and worked at, on that one skill. When everybody else was exhausted, I knew I had more in me and I can go further. But if you never stretch those limits, and you just leave when the coach is, okay, practice is over, and you don't stretch those limits, you'll never get to that level that you desired to get to when you started this sport. So if you don't stretch your limits, you set your limits. And high school graduation, college graduation, you get a tassel. And the tassel, that little thing that hangs down from your hat, the tassel is worth the hassle. The tassel is worth the hassle. So the, the 10 most powerful two-letter words, if it is to be, it is up to me, and it is all up to you. It's up to you. What are you going to do? Because you know it's going to get to a point where it's going to get hard. It's coming because it, the hard part is coming. Are you ready for it? Say, bring it on. I know it's going to be hard, but I know it's going to be worth it. Thanks, Doc. We'll see okay. everybody next week.